Okay, so if any of you are familiar, Ambien is a medication that helps you fall asleep. However, there are multiple, I wouldn't say side effects. I mean, there are side effects to it for some people. But for me, probably the biggest one is when I get tired, I get a little dizzy and maybe a little silly, maybe a little out of it. Well, 20 days ago, I had taken my Ambien to lay down to go to sleep for the night and woke up the next morning with some emails from Timu. Yeah. So I apparently made some purchases, two separate purchases on Timu.com. And you guys are going to be the benefactor of this. When I saw that I had made these purchases, I quickly decided that I wasn't going to do anything about them. Because, A, I don't know if you even can cancel Timu or purchases. It wasn't a ton. It was over $100, which was a little disturbing because I would have never done that. But it is what it is, right? I had already done it. And I didn't look at what I got. So you guys get to see what I got when I see what I got. I did, scrolling through, see a quick couple little things. But in general, yeah. So to start this process off with, this is, I mean, it's heavy, it's awkward. And that is how it came. In... I've got a mail, a mailbox on my porch. It's a uh, maybe three foot by three foot by three and a half, four foot, two foot by two foot by. Th I don't know. It's a box that sits on my porch that keeps things protected from snow and rain. And I get enough packages that I made it useful. This was sitting in there with this torn wide open. So I don't even know if I got everything that I was supposed to. But let's dive in and see what I did get. <laughs> this just... So I've seen plenty of YouTube videos where people are shopping on Timu. And it's usually... I think Austin Evans are probably my favorite ones. <laughs> I don't even know where to start. Okay. So we've got a box. Oh, that's cool. Okay, at the top. A terribly bent sign. That maybe can be unbent. Okay. They should not have put that in a, a box that I don't know. Another box that I don't know. Another thousand hundred movies. I got myself a little scream ghost face pop and got myself a little scream. <laughs> um, yeah, so we got two of these guys. I think we're gonna be giving one of those away. Um, I got this thick guy, and that's it. Let's start at the beginning. This is what I believe damaged the package. So we're going to start there and see what we got and see if anything's cool. Okay, so these are signs. So... This is actually pretty cool. I don't know where I'll put them necessarily. They are metal signs and they have a little sticky double-sided foam. This one is for the Overlook Hotel. That's nifty. I like that. It's nice, nice quality. It is screen printed. So let's let's put that back in there. I got a whole bunch of these though, so I don't know what's going on. Okay. Second up, another one. I'm I can dig this. We've got 
That was from The Shining, by the way. This one is Camp Crystal Lake. I like it. It's got some nice little blood splatters. It looks like it's on wood. I do have an Elm Street sign down there that's kind of made out of the same material. So maybe I can do something with all of these. Oh, we got something else that's separate. <laughs> that was from Friday the 13th, just in case you don't know, if you're not a huge horror buff. This one, Welcome to Haddonfield. Haddonfield is in Illinois, which is where I live, and the home of Michael Myers. So that's fun. I, I guess so far I'm seeing there's a connection of horror themed stuff. I didn't, I didn't know team even, oh, okay. So we have another welcome to Haddonfield. Don't know, we'll put that over there. We have another Overlook Hotel. What is this? Okay, okay, I can, I can dig this. Um, so I've got some extra stuff, so I don't know if that's why I did two orders. Maybe I forgot the first one. This is Amityville with the flies. I like that. If you don't, if you don't know, I used to collect all of the Amityville movies, like the, I think they're up to 50 now, but I stopped collecting around 30, mid thirties and gave them away to a lucky winner. But the, the Amityville is still cool. And I have the first several Amityville movies still. And someone else has got an Amityville sign. Gosh, I hope all this stuff isn't copies. And someone else is going to get a Camp Crystal Lake sign. So we're, we're going to have to figure out how to do the giveaway. Because there's four of those. Um, as you saw the sneak peek kind of earlier, I also have two ghost faces in the bloody box. I don't know what makes a pop an official pop versus an unofficial pop. The boxes in these are kind of dinged up, but if anybody knows, like, what makes a pop figure, like, an official pop figure, like, did were these a thing? Did they come with the blood-stained boxes? Because, I mean, these are, like, protective boxes. These aren't even their boxes. So one of these will be given away. Those signs will be given away. But let's see what else we got. Oh, we got the spinning top totem from the film Inception. That is kind of cool. Let's see if it actually spins or not. As I switched camera views and set up, it's still going. So, who's to say? Maybe, I don't know. That's a cool little knickknack, though. Like, I like having weird little movie props that probably not everybody will get. Yeah, so this is actually pretty cool. So, this is a marker from John Wick. And I mean, it's, it's metal. It's not super heavy duty metal, but it's metal. The question is, is there a secret way to get into it? Unfortunately, or fortunately, there is not the needle in it. And it looks like John Wick's bloody fingerprint or thumbprint is already in there. All right, so we still have one, two, three, four, five more things to go through. So we're going to start here, and I've legitimately got no clue. I think I might have seen some of the signs when I was scrolling through, but outside of that, I really don't know. So it's not all horror stuff, because that was Inception and John Wick. So, who knows what else is in here. I am seeing that they're all movie-themed, at least, but... <laughs> what? Oh, man. Ambien is a dangerous, dangerous thing. 
<laughs> I got Thing from the Netflix. I mean, clearly this was just made in a mold. This is not a very high quality. Oh. It's, it's interesting. Like, it's not solid. Like, it's... It feels like it's almost a balloon type thing. But, you know. <laughs> okay. That's a thing. Get it? Get it? That's a thing. Okay, so I see a picture on the side of this. This weighs way more than I would think it would, though. So, let's see... That's really nice. I don't know what this is made out of. So it took a little bit more work than I thought. But overall, this is a very nice, it's very nice, very heavy duty. Sorry, I'm just showing you guys my struggle, not actually showing you what I'm doing. So they probably make nicer ones. I wouldn't doubt that. Woo! Gonna get some blood on the lament configuration and comes into two pieces and then you can form it back together like that like it does in the movie which is pretty cool like once it seats it seats like really well so it's funny because i was talking to my wife previously and I had asked her if I could get the hand from talk to me that kind of looks like that and she said absolutely not so I don't know how she'll feel about having the lament configuration in the house one eternity later there we go like once it goes it goes but Yeah, I do think it comes with a nice little stand. I do think I will have that mounted somewhere for display because that just looks cool. Sorry, that took longer than I thought. I literally did cut myself. You can't really see it, but this says 100 movies. But there's a piece of plastic. So. Oh. Why would I have ordered? Interesting. Okay, so I'm guessing if I can, if I'm thinking correctly, that this is simply one of those 100 movie scratch off things. And it is. So it's got all the different movies like Training Day, The Longest Day, The Graduate, The Grand Budapest Hotel, stuff like that. What does it say at the top? 100 movies, the ultimate list collection. Hmm. Huh. I'll have to take that apart on a later video because... I don't have the time to scrape them all off, but so those apparently are available on Timu if that's something that you're, you know, if you're just getting started out in movies and you're wanting to challenge yourself to watch some of the more like the, maybe not the greatest movies of all time, but important movies. I didn't look at them all, but Grand Budapest is on there and Grand Budapest is a fantastic movie. It's cool, too, because it just comes with a little guitar pick scratcher thing, though. But that's nice if you don't have a quarter laying around or something. It looks like we're down to two things, three things. This says Harry Potter on it, but they don't know why. Oh. 
Oh, it's the Marauders map. Are there going to be footprints that show up on here? I don't know if this is actually supposed to do anything. Or if it just... I Hopefully I didn't spend a lot on this one. I'm going to go check real quick, so I'll be back again. So it doesn't look like it necessarily does anything. But my wife is a big Harry Potter fan, so that'll be a cool thing to share with her and let her have. Since most of this stuff is coming down into the movie room, that would be something she could have up in um, her, her area. She's got some other, like where her Harry Potter books and stuff are displayed. So what is this? Nightlight. <laughs> okay. So apparently I was on somewhat of a Harry Potter kick. Because, well... Oh, that's, that's actually nice. That's heavy duty. Real metal. Um, I'm guessing that's used to hang this up. Okay, so I'm, there's no batteries, but I'm assuming that lights up. That's kind of cool. Comes with the screws and stuff. Again, I'm not the biggest Harry Potter fan, but my wife is, so she will hopefully like that. And then we have one. It wasn't really a surprise because I kind of stumbled upon it in the beginning. But we have one thing left, which is a sign that got bent because of the way they packaged, but it's supposed to look rustic. That's part of the charm of this sign. So hopefully the bend doesn't make it look too bad. So we've got Captain Spaulding's fry, world famous fried chicken and gasoline. It just tastes so damn good. Um, I do wish the rust was like real rust. Like if I knew enough, I could probably sand those down. Ultimately, I think some of the bends almost make it look more authentic. I'm not, I'm not trying to excuse Timu's weird packaging, but yeah, I can dig that. Just base, basic length back, but so what do you guys think? So I know most of my um, videos I've done have been pretty straightforward about movies or movie related things. And this is movie related, but it kind of had a more interactive element to it. So let me know what you guys think. As always, if you'll do the like, the follow, ring the bell, that whole stuff so that I can get more followers and hopefully do more content. Let me know though in the com comments what you guys think of this video. If you like it, if you didn't like it, if I should do something other than just movie stuff. Ambien does some weird stuff. I'm also going to be doing a giveaway I don't know if I'll be doing it over here or over on the other platform. So make sure you're following me over everywhere. That's, you know, I've got the clock app. I've got the bird app. I've got the Insta photo app and here. So I will definitely announce the giveaways for these other signs. I've got all four signs. And that ghost face pop, I'll, I'll announce those at some point over there. But let me know what you guys think and do that stuff. Make sure you're following me, like the videos, comment on the videos, do all that stuff so I know what I'm doing right and what I need to improve on for you guys. So thank you as always, and we'll see you on the next one.